people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we got Universal revealing the official release window for the second FNAF movie, a demo for the fanverse game The Joy of Creation is just around the corner, updates on U2's FNAF movie wave, as well as brand new Ruin products, that and so much more we're going to be talking about today. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, but let's just hop right into it. Boo! Did it scare ya? This is our first topic, Steel Wool Studios released brand new art of the Mexus entity for Easter. Definitely a very creepy looking Easter bunny, but he's got a basket of goodies for me, so I'm not gonna complain too much. But moving on now to some book news, we got the official release of the updated edition of the Security Breach Files. This officially released on the 2nd of April, pretty close to April Fool's Day, and I don't think that was a coincidence. If you go online, you're gonna see nothing but complaints about this book, really, because just like the first edition of the Security Breach Files, this too is still full of a lot of misinformation. And despite claiming it's gonna have a lot of Easter eggs and secrets about the Ruin DLC, it basically just boils down to being a simple guide for the game. I'm curious to know if eventually we'll get an ultimate edition of the Security Breach files, like the Freddy files. If that does happen, hopefully they make it good and take their time with it because fans are not happy with this book. But for some better book news, we got our first preview for the Fazbear Frights Graphic Novel Collection Volume 5. This three-page preview gives us our first look at the Jump for Ticket story that's included in this collection. The other stories in this graphic novel are going to be Sea Bonnies, that's going to be interesting, as well as Find player 2. The illustrations in this preview look absolutely phenomenal, so I can't wait for the full book to be released on the 3rd of September later this year. Lastly for book news, we got the very exciting info that graphic novels based on the Tales from the Pizzaplex books are going to be made, with volume 1 having a release date of March 4th of 2025, with this first collection featuring illustrated adaptations of Under Construction, the third story in Lally's Game, Haps, of course the titular story in the second book Haps, as well as Cletherophobia, which is the third story story from book three, Somnophobia. So I'm curious for all those FNAF book lovers out there, what other tale stories would you like to see get graphic novel adaptations? And now let's move on to a whole bunch of merchandise news because we got a lot. Starting off, we got this first look at a brand new t-shirt by Hex featuring Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. I personally love the design of this t-shirt. I'm sure it'll be released around the same time as those hoodies, right? The Shadow Freddy hoodie as well as the Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie plushies. Seems like we'll be getting a full shadow wave and again, this t-shirt design looks incredible. It even glows in the dark. Moving on now to FYE, they just released a third edition of their Fizzy Fast Soda. This time, it is themed around Monty, and it is Sour Lime Splash flavor. So if you're keeping track, that is three flavors based on Roxanne, Freddy, and Monty. Seems like all we're waiting on now is Chica. I've done YouTube shorts about the Freddy Soda as well as the Roxanne Soda, so... I guess I gotta keep up tradition, expect a short on Monty Soda coming pretty soon. From what I've heard, it sounds like it tastes like watered down Mountain Dew mixed with some Sprite. And I do quite enjoy both of those sodas, but mixed together, kind of watered down, I don't know, we're gonna have to see how this tastes. Moving on now to Pillow Pets, you may remember their brand new Foxy Pillow Pet is now available to pre-order, or he could just join me to report this FNAF news. I wanna give a massive shout out to Pillow Pets for sending me once again their brand new FNAF Pillow Pet plushies, this guy is absolutely adorable. Not being paid to say any of this, or promote him, but again, they sent me to him for free, and he's awesome. This is what he looks like as a pillow. Again, this guy's awesome. So again, if you want to pick up a pillow pet of Foxy, I'll leave the link down below. Moving on now, have you ever wanted 38 inches of Freddy? Because the company NECA will be re-releasing their four foot tall, again, 48 inch tall Freddy Fazbear figure in October of this year, and he costs only $375. I believe this figure first released back in like 2017. He's a giant foam replica, again, 38 inches tall, which is four feet of our main man, Freddy Fazbear. Personally, as much as 38 inches of Freddy sounds amazing. It's almost $400 for a big old chunk of foam that honestly looks a bit goofy, but I thought I'd shout it out in this video because I was not at all expecting this guy to ever make a comeback, but here we are. Next up, we got Figpin for our final topic of smaller FNAF merch news, because later this year in September, they're gonna be releasing another series of their Cybercell 3D art cards. This time, it looks like the series is based on the latest FNAF game, Help Wanted 2, featuring a whole bunch of characters and their renders from the game, but it's nice we're getting a second series, and this time it looks like it has an actual theme, because the first series just had a whole bunch of FNAF characters, some renders, some art pieces. But now let's move on to YouTube's, because as per usual, they've been teasing a whole bunch of their upcoming FNAF products. You may remember this teaser for an upcoming Balloon Boy plushie. Not long after that, we got the second teaser of the BB plushie. And finally, we got the full reveal for what the Balloon Boy plushie looks like. And also, Corey's there. What's up, Corey? Honestly, I really do like the design of this BB plushie, besides the face, mainly the mouth. I'd assume this plushie is 
based on BB's appearance in the FNAF movie because he's also releasing in June, which is when that first wave of FNAF movie products also gets released. So I think they tried to incorporate the wonky teeth design of the figure in the film to the plushie, but honestly, I think it looks a little bit goofy. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Maybe I'm just being picky. But speaking of U2's FNAF movie wave, they also teased their mic figure. They released this ultra 4K look at the mic figure, and as you can see from the pose, he's in the Torture Freddy chair. With U2's revealing a full look at the Torture Freddy head sculpt. And now it makes sense why they didn't want to tease Mike's figure because it would give away the entire figure, the fact that he's in the Shreddy Faz chair. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on Mike's figure. I saw some people upset that he's in such a dynamic pose. But honestly, I think it makes for a much more intriguing and interesting figure, so I can't wait for that to release. And also, figures finally releasing is U2's ruined Chica figure. They release this teaser of the updated design, and she'll be releasing on April 19th. They also revealed that a ruined themed collectible pin set will also be releasing on the 19th of April. The pins included are Helpy, the Eclipse, Cassie wearing the Vanny mask, the Mimic, as well as Mexus blocking and reporting you. This so far is U2's only planned Ruin merchandise, so after this I'm not sure if we're gonna get more, but it's nice that we can finally get Ruin Chica. I think her updated design looks perfect. And now let's move on to some Fazbear fanverse news, starting off with Pop Goes Evergreen, because we've got Kane releasing this terrifying new look at the mangle in Pop Goes Evergreen, and of course with all these teaser images, you know what to do, brighten that sucker up. And in the background, we can get another look at False Mangle. Very creepy new teaser for False Mangle lurking in the background in the darkness behind Mangle. But then also for Pop Goes News, we got My Pop Goes finally getting a Steam page. And with this Steam page, we got some brand new screenshots of the premium edition of My Pop Goes. Those screenshots revealing we're gonna be able to change our character in the game because as you can see, we're playing a Stone the Crow instead of Pop Goes. We got a look at a brand new environment inspired by candies. Seems like we also got some stickers that we can place on the toy as well as extra challenges. What appears to be an entirely brand new game mode featuring long pop goes. I'd assume it's going to have a very similar style and gameplay to the game Snake. And probably the thing I'm most excited for, brand new lore in the form of journal entries. Where not only do we get this adorable illustration of pop goes, we also learn that his first name is Oliver, as well as a whole bunch of other info regarding pop goes. No release date for my pop goes on Steam just yet, but I will leave it linked down below if you want to go give it a wish list. But speaking of fanverse games finally releasing, we got a demo of the Tour of Creation coming up very soon. With Nixon revealing this main menu preview for the office demo of t -Jock. So in this preview, not only do we get a look at the main menu, we also get revealed to us the official logo for the Tour of Creation. It's got a very fascinating design, something you don't really see a whole lot with the FNAF franchise. So I really do appreciate how different and unique it is. There's no word on when the office demo for t -Jock releases, but it does seem like Click Team is currently testing the demo right now so I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys up to date with the demo and of course when it releases we'll be playing it on this channel and lastly for FNAF news let's talk about the second FNAF movie because over the last couple of days we've gotten a lot of info about that film if you missed my video the other day Jason Blum released a behind the scenes look at the Jim Henson's creature shop constructing the mangle as well as Toy Bonnie for the second FNAF movie officially confirming that the film is in development because for the longest time Blumhouse was just not saying it was being made for some reason. But then recently we had CinemaCon, which is a gigantic convention where all the major movie studios basically announce a whole bunch of their films, they release brand new looks and trailers and teasers, and Jason Blum at Universal's panel revealed that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 will be releasing in fall of 2025. With Deadline immediately releasing an article saying following the global success of FNAF last fall, Universal and Blumhouse are headed back to the pizzeria. A sequel, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, is in the works for release in fall 2025. Universal president of domestic theatrical distribution Jim Orr said during the studio CinemaCon presentation, Wednesday afternoon in Las Vegas. With Blumhouse finally breaking their silence on the sequel, tweeting out, we are confirming for the first time that there will be a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's coming fall 2025. So, finally. We got official confirmation from Blumhouse, from Universal, the film is in the works, and it's coming out fall of next year. With the recent news that filming for the sequel got delayed from July of this year to fall of this year, and with Jim Henson still seemingly planning out the designs for the animatronics, it makes sense why it's still so far away, but hopefully the wait goes by pretty quickly this time, at least it's not eight years like the first movie. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the release window for FNAF 2, and if you want more info on the movie, like I said, I just made a video dedicated to that 
an angle teaser, as well as possible spin-off movies, the filming delay, and even some info on the withered animatronics. That's also going to be linked down below, but that is going to do it for today's FNAF news video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.